How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and welcome to today's World of Tanks console update news and information video where we look at the brand new premium tank along with the free earn operation for a premium tank at tier 8 that you can pick up as well and then we'll have a look at some of the extra information that we've been giving as to this next update. As of the recording of this video you will be able to actually pick up this free premium tank on the game itself and of course you'll be able to check out this new premium tank as well. So first things first, what is this new premium tank that I'm talking about? Well, it is the M4A1 FL10 medium tank at tier 6. This is a French medium tank that is basically like a AMX 1375 with an M4 Sherman hull that is basically uh, kind of a mishmash. It's almost like a mercenary tank, really. Um, it's kind of like the Jackal. Uh, this one has 540 alpha damage in its clip. It means that you can actually deal um, three shots, I believe it is, or no, four shots of 135 damage per shot in the clip. Uh, you've got six degrees of gun depression, which is fairly okay. You can go 48 kilometers an hour forward, so it's quite nice. You've got 810 hit points, which isn't bad at tier six as well. Really fairly decent. Uh, yes, you won't have any armor because the M4 Sherman has pretty much no armor and definitely uh, the AMX 1375 turret will not have any armor either so you're not going to be able to bounce very many rounds in this thing and so yeah you kind of have to make sure that when you're taking damage you're going to be able to output the damage back to your opponents and unfortunately for this tank 0.4 accuracy is not particularly the best accuracy you can get in the game and so you're going to have a little bit of trouble when you're putting out that DPM back to your opponents. 2.3 second aim time is certainly pretty awful to be honest with you for a such a low alpha damage gun and so you're going to be able to really have a bit of a struggle when trying to fully aim after each firing each of the shells and since the intraclip reload is fairly high 1.75 seconds is no small amount considering that a lot of tanks um, at tier 7 and tier 6 with such low alpha damage actually fire in probably 3 seconds so it doesn't really have that much of a benefit of having the autoloader itself 18 second reload for those 4 shells so essentially each 135 damage shell that you're going to be putting out has realistically probably got a 5 or 6 second total reload because of the actual time between the shells as well that you factor into the reload and so yeah it becomes a little bit tedious uh, with how much damage you're actually putting out 10.32 rounds of minute which means that the dpm is about 1400 roughly uh, of course that's going to vary depending on whether or not you have the crew skills that boost the uh, fire rate and so yeah uh, of course you can't have a equipment as in terms of the advanced loader in a tank like this but it certainly is going to be a little bit annoying view range of 360 meters is fairly decent of course it does have that light tank turret and hence why you get fairly okay vision range it's not the best that you've ever seen on a tier 6 but uh, certainly allow you to actually uh, spot some opponents especially if you put on advanced optics and that might be a way of actually in turn getting some more combined damage in your games to make this tank a little bit better overall do i think it's going to be super overpowered no no this tank is not going to be one of those game breaking tanks at tier 6 but what it will be is a tank that will definitely be fairly competitive within the current game meta you know having speed having that auto loaded to dish out that damage fairly quickly um well somewhat fairly quickly uh, but you know i think it will definitely be an okay tank for those of you who like playing your auto loaders and maybe if you haven't played an auto loader before it'd be a good place to start maybe potentially since it does earn that extra silver and so you won't be causing yourself to lose so much silver when you're trying and testing out auto loaders for the first time and since the tank when it is just the base version on October 5th of course you have to wait two or three weeks or whatever it is before you can actually pick the tank up itself yes two weeks after the initial release uh, before it becomes a reasonable price for a tier 6 4100 is what it will cost you so it's not the 
arm and a leg that you're usually seeing with some of the premium tanks coming out recently, costing you like 20,000. This one's a bit more reasonable, but even still, for a tier 6, 4,100 is quite a lot. And so, yeah, I guess it's down to you whether you want to pick it up on the release date. But of course, let me know what you think of the M4A1 FL10 in the comment section down below. Will you be picking up this tank? Have you picked up this tank? And what is it like in the game if you have? Now moving on in this video, of course, we'll be taking a look at the free earn operation, which you can pick up the Yahtzee WZ121G FT premium tank. Yes, you can pick up another premium tank. Wargaming seem to be doing a lot of earn operation challenges for those of you who don't have premium tanks, which is fantastic uh, in terms of actually giving some of you that maybe don't have the money to spend on the game uh, a chance at getting some of the higher tier vehicles and the ability to actually earn some silver in the game if you don't have a Cold War premium tank, which of course are definitely the way to go for silver. Now as far as how this tank works out in game tier 8, Tank Destroyer, it looks very very similar to the SU-12244 which you can actually pick up in the premium tech tree and that's a Soviet tier 7. However, this tank, this tank is basically an upgraded version, it's got a much bigger gun, you're going to be able to deal more damage per shot with this tank, and so yeah, it's definitely one I would be interested in actually spending the time to grind through the operation, of course we'll look through that in a little bit. This one has 440 alpha damage per shell, which is really, really nice. The 122, uh, kind of upgraded 122 with the 440 is very, very nice. And certainly you can slap your opponents very nicely. Of course, you have a 10 second reload roughly, which of course, when you put on all of the perks, you can take off two seconds of that. So eight seconds to be able to do a 440 alpha damage roughly uh, with the perks and the equipment. If you put on advanced loader and um, the rapid loading I believe it is on the perks you'll be able to get this down to about 8 seconds or 8.8 .8 seconds or something around there uh, which is fantastic trust me um, you're going to have fairly decent DPM overall you know looking at probably in the region of 3200 DPM on a tank like this wow this tank is going to be fantastic um, at least if you set it up in that way 50 kilometers an hour top speed means that it's not a slow old boy like some of the TDs are uh, from the Chinese line and of course 42 degrees a second traverse is not awful either so you're going to be able to actually turn 0.37 accuracy is certainly not the best and 2.9 second aim time is definitely not the best uh, but it is certainly fairly decent for a 440 alpha damage gun and of course if you put on the steady aim perk uh, or skill you're going to be able to decrease that accuracy significantly down to something more reasonable as well as the aim time as well and if you put on the perks that also increase uh, that sort of stuff like ventilation then yeah you're going to be able to decrease the accuracy even further meaning that you're going to be able to hit your targets much much easier 150% earn rate on the tank means that it's going to be earning you some silver when you're playing in it and so that's always really really nice in the game now looking at how you can actually earn the tank itself you have to get xp overall and so no it's not your traditional you know get 3000 damage 10 times or something like that this one it will be your 50,000 uh, xp plus 40 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 plus 7 and plus 3 so the total xp that you'll need will just calculate 10 20 50, uh, 40 70 uh, 110 and 160,000 XP total uh, for you to be able to pick up the free tier 8 Yahtzee. Um, definitely uh, it's fairly okay for those of you more higher end casual players. For those of you that only jump on for a couple of battles per day, you're probably not going to be able to get this tank fairly easily, uh, but you will get the 75% discount reasonably fast, you know, only having to get 120,000 compared to that 160 in total for the other, um, if you do want it for free. So yeah, it's going to make it more reasonable, I suppose, if you actually want to pick it up for money, 
would I recommend spending money on a tank that you could get for free? Well, no, because you could just spend that extra little bit of time if you could possibly do that in the game, just grinding out that 50,000 XP. Of course, daily doubles do count towards the XP requirements on these. Uh, I don't think boosters count towards the XP, however, so don't actually um, put on your boosters thinking that you're going to get these done quicker, I believe, unless you try it out, see whether it does actually work. I don't believe that they do for for this kind of reward but definitely the daily doubles if you want to make sure to grind out this super quick all you could do get in all of your different tanks play till you get the first win on all of the different tanks that you own in your garage you'll get double exp towards this operation and so theoretically if you perform the same then you're going to be able to actually get the tank two times faster if that makes sense and of course if a three times xp event somehow comes up in the game that gives you more xp for the free wit first win then yeah you'll get it done even quicker but considering it's only for a week and i don't think wargaming have mentioned that they'll be doing a times three then yeah you want to make sure that you actually get this tank fairly fairly quickly by just doing the daily doubles or alternatively just playing lots more um, by playing the game itself Hopefully that is a good overview of what the challenges actually get you. Of course, you do get some pretty mediocre rewards, you know, silver and a couple of XP boosters and a flag voucher. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's particularly that but that good. And of course, if you want to purchase it, 13,400 gold is, oh, Jesus, that's an expensive amount uh, to spend on tier 8 tank destroyer. No, don't ever buy it full price. That's just ridiculous. Make sure you just grind up the operation because it only takes you like a couple thousand XP to get the 50% off. Now, moving on, there is a new challenge to be able to get, you know, some extra rewards, and that is a times two silver bonus. Um, this is available twice per day so you can do this two times and all you have to do is place in the top seven xp earners on both teams in a battle so essentially you have to come in the top seven on both teams it's available twice per day so you can do this two times um, to get the two times silver bonus of course you want to be playing in a premium tank for your first couple of games where you can actually place in the top seven because you know you'll make the most use of that two times silver bonus it is available to cold war and available to world war 2 so it's only available between tiers 5 and 10 for world war 2 and of course all eras on cold war um, let me know what you think about these operations do you enjoy them are you looking forward to the update and of course tomorrow's video will be looking a bit more in depth as to the details of the video so let me know in the comment section down below what you think and of course check out one of these gameplays on screen right now thank you very much for watching to this point and thank you very much to the channel members for supporting that little bit extra with their cash uh, yeah really do appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>